What's up, y'all? Shout out to the Mac Kids and Maniacs. Welcome to another episode of KM Videos True Stories. That was it. I never stopped. I never stopped banging. I, I started banging hard, then I got so hard that it was a shame. Welcome to another episode of KM Video True 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 Stories. Today's story takes place in the early nineties. I'm thinking 1991. Yeah, yeah, it had to be 91. Cause I got this Rag 5.0, right? Me and Cal, we go hit up Crenshaw Boulevard. You know, me and Cal, we done, we done fought shoulder to shoulder, back to back. We done went co to concerts together and I've been knowing Cal since elementary school. I remember when Cal didn't even gangbang, and you know I was flirting with gangbang, and I just wasn't a hardcore crip. I wasn't established. I didn't have no established reputation, and we would always kick it though. It was always always my God. Close friendship. And we would meet up on Sundays, but usually he'd be in his car, I'd be in my car. This particular Sunday, Cal gets in the car with me. And we hit Crenshaw. And we between 54th and 57th Street on the west side of the street and I pull in between that that island whatever you call that over there and we jump out and we on the cement side of that little section and I have seen some Crips and not being aggressive but I want to know what Crips is over here in the hood and if we get along with them or not I got a 38 on me I got a black 38 uh, you know, some of these stories I talk about are 22 or 38 or something, but I, usually I kept big guns. I usually kept, usually a 9 millimeter was my go-to, a Glock or something like that, right? And so I got this black 38 on me. And we jump out. I see a few dudes I know. Go shake hands, go greet them. Cal goes over there with me. Cal's smiling. Cal's just happy to be out. And this one dude say, hey, Big Cal, I know you. And that triggered Cal. He was like, you don't know me, fool. I think Cal wanted to be incognito, not recognized, because he, he was up to some doulo. But we hadn't discussed this. That's just how we roll. Like, you could feel the energy. You know what we're going to do, right? But we ain't on no real, we ain't on no gangbang shit. We kind of on some, a small lick type shit. And Cal tell dude, man, you don't know me. And dude's trying to explain, man, I know you from Wayside, cuz. Cause we were just in Wayside together. And Cal fire on him. Boom! So I, I square up on him. And Cal fire again. Boom! And Cal snatch his chain. I grab his back pockets. I snatch his wallet out of his pocket. And then I grab the keys because I'm thinking this fool might have a burner. And I grab his keys. I, I go in the car, and I'm digging all through the car. There's nothing worthy of taking. He had a pull-out radio that I thought about taking, but it, it wasn't no hell of a radio, and I wasn't going to have the case for it, so I, I let him keep his radio. I don't want to take his car. Cal's yelling, take the car, take the car. I don't want to take the car. Because in my car right here, and I don't know that you're going to jump in my car and go or none of that. So we end up getting back in the car. And I take off. And I go down Crenshaw. I come back around one time. We hit up some dudes. They don't want no problems. And I'm going back to the hood. And the LAPD get behind me. And I'm like, damn. 
these niggas done told. These niggas done singled us out. They done told on us. We going to get a petty robbery for that little jury and this wallet. I still got the wallet in the car, right? And it had a few dollars in it. And Cal, Cal wants to get the money and throw the wallet out. But no, nah, Cal, you got the chain. I got the money. So I, I'm fighting over the money while we getting pulled over. And I got the 38 in the car. And Cal said, cuz, the 38. I'm like, here, toss that motherfucker out. Cal throws the 38 out. And it's, it's, it's dark on 60th Street. Cal th throws the 38 out. We never really figured out where the 38 went. Police pulls us over, jacks us up. Police ain't even tripping off nothing. They just see some dudes in a nice car, cruising Crenshaw, want to see what they could find, ask any guns or drugs in the car. Nah, ain't no guns or drugs in the car. They didn't even do no hell of a search. They did a felony stop, though. Drew down on us, make us get out the car, and boom, they don't find no guns or drugs. They go on about their happy way. When the police leave, we in the car and we get ready to go up 60th and we hit West Boulevard. Man, I'll tell you, that was a quick response. About seven, eight low riders come flying up behind us and they gangbanging. And them dudes were looking for us. And boom, I, I bust a left, go up 64, go, go let Cal off. And then we find out them niggas went through the hood. Them niggas went down Brian Hurst and Victoria, asked the niggas, you know, where was them niggas at? That was me and Cal, man. So another close call, man. Almost got in trouble by the police. Almost got caught by these dudes. And they wasn't playing. And it was a quick response. And we could have got some innocent homies, you know, could have got shot, could have got in trouble, whatever. But... As it turns out, this particular hood and this particular guy, he just really wanted an apology, man, and let us know that he wasn't no punk and that he had some pull in his hood. And I always clown Cal like, man, you made me lose my 38, fool. And Cal used to be like, shit, better than going to jail. Yeah, but I need my 38, Cal. He like, shit, you got to chalk that one up. I'm like, yeah, that's why I didn't give you no money either, fool. And uh, it wasn't a whole lot of money, though. And uh, so that's my story for the day, man. You know, Crenshaw, Crenshaw was an area that if you were looking for trouble, you damn sure was going to find it. One way or another, with a female, with a rival, maybe even an ally, the LAPD, the sheriff, you was going to find trouble on Crenshaw if you looked for it. Unfortunately, a lot of times we were looking for it. But that's going to do it for my story for the day. Um, rest in peace, Big Cal. I miss you. I love you, homie. Be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Don't be afraid to leave a comment, man. Tell me what type of stories you want because I'll probably be going on hiatus again. And I'll make a note of what type of stories you want. And I may do the story that you want me to do. I'm out of here. Salute.